Okay, hi everyone. My name is Andrea Polanco. I come from a country named Belize. Uh, we're located in Central America and we also share an identity as being a part of the Caribbean. I work with Channel 5. It's a television news station. So I'm very honored and privileged and, and grateful to the Art Journalism Network and the Stanley Foundation to have been able to attend the Global Climate Action Summit here in San Francisco. Uh, the reason for that being is that in Belize, uh, across the Caribbean really, uh, we're a very vulnerable region when it comes to climate change. Um, we've seen just massive uh, hurricanes in the past couple of years. Last year, for example, an entire island basically got wiped out, an island where people have lived for thousands of years in Barbuda. And so we share a common identity in the Caribbean in that we're all vulnerable. We all use the ocean as the main source of livelihoods for millions of people across our region in terms of tourism and then we also have our culture which are industries that are being impacted by climate change and so being here in san francisco i had the opportunity to speak with leaders from our region from with leaders from across the world and it was just so humbling to see that there are people who are united in this fight against climate change there are people who are doing very innovative things people who we can learn from people who are sharing knowledge and empowering the most vulnerable people in in the world who are being affected and so I was able to learn a lot about ocean and climate change uh, deforestation that's a big issue for us back home and so what I'm gonna take away is just some of the things the innovative things that are being done that we can that I can go back and share the knowledge uh, you know learn from best practices that people are doing across the world so it was very very helpful for me in that aspect and so I am looking forward to producing stories talking about our ocean just some of the things that we, we're seeing that Australia is going through they have the largest barrier reef in the world we have the second largest and we're sure we are having some of the similar uh, effects of climate change we're facing some of the same challenges and so being able to interview the, you know the Minister of Environment from uh, Australia she you know gave me some very very uh, helpful and useful Useful information about just some of the things that they're doing and so to be able to go back home and share that with my country a country that's very strapped for resources that doesn't have a lot of the technical expertise I think it's just a very good example of how global cooperation is needed in the fight against climate change